Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going into Goodwill and we're gonna go see what we can buy and sell on eBay. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna be heading straight to the back. Um, this Goodwill, the selection's pretty slim, so we're gonna go see if we can find anything. They have a lot of clothes at this section or um, this store. I just don't do a lot with clothes. $1.99 on that little candle holder. That's an ornament or um, it plugs into like the light of the tree. That's $4.99. cents on this piece. They still have those bunnies. I'm still surprised that they have the Christmas stuff still out. Is the Christmas stuff still out at your Goodwills? I don't know. Because uh, I've been to other Goodwills and they don't have their Christmas out anymore. It's a glass ornament or a bell. Um, it's metal on the inside. It's $3.99. I thought it was going to be an ornament. Little pine cones. There were probably pieces of ornaments that were broken. That's like one of those little plate stands. I'm going to pick that up for personal use. Um, I use plate stands whenever I'm doing pictures for eBay. And then um, my husband has a Vaseline glass. That's... Um, he had the Raiders logo etched into it. I know that's going to be like, why'd you do that? <laughs> um, but he had that done and he wanted to display his plate. So There's a whole bunch of baskets over here. Um, this one, I don't see the price on that one. Oh, $1.99 on that one. And $0.99 cents on that. Three ninety nine on that basket. I don't know what this is. I think it's some type of decoration thing. Well, it opens up. <laughs> um, I don't know what you would put in there. It's ninety. It's twelve ninety nine. Excuse me, twelve ninety nine. It kind of reminds me of something you would get at a Home Goods store. They were playing with that little wooden toy thing. $1.99 for that little train piece. My son has a whole bunch of those. Not the Mickey Mouse one, but he has a whole bunch of those wooden trains. That's why I knew what that was. But I have no clue what that thing I just touched was. Kind of looks like it was for paper towels, but then it had like a windy thing on the top. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That's plastic. little tiny mug souvenir piece $2.99 on this one color wave by Nordtech I don't know how to Nordtalky I don't know <laughs> ah, I'm terrible at that name $1.99 on this little penguin mug with a spoon and the lid I go ahead and pick this up because I feel like somebody would like it too I don't know if it was a souvenir piece it says love up on it I did do comps on it, and I couldn't find anything like it. I even Google lensed it, couldn't find it. Those were $3.99 a piece. Milk glass, $0.99. Cents. I have a bunch of milk glass, and these are like little candle holders or bud vases, so I did leave those behind. I feel like some trends go in and out constantly and I don't think milk class is it right now unless you find a specific piece maybe a little miniature pie plate that's so cute it says pumpkin pie for two it's $2.99 
It was like a heavy metal type. I mean, it's probably ceramic, but it was really heavy. Sweet Expressions teapot. And they wanted $4.99 for it, and that one was $5.99. And it was a Teleflora gift. So, they got left behind. <laughs> they got left behind. $12.99 on that Pampered Chef. I don't know what those are called. Cookie Press. I used to have one, but not a Pampered Chef. And then I'm touching it, and it is greasy. So, <laughs> somebody definitely used it. <laughs> oh, boy. Somebody definitely used it and didn't clean it out very good. That's cute. Has somebody's name on it. it says Tom. Now, whenever I see hobnail, I don't really see hobnail that pointy, so I don't know what that piece was or if it was something that missing a lid. These are little milk glass cups or mugs. They probably have like a pitcher somewhere down here. So that would be a set. And anything that's not marked will be 99 cents. So these are really heavy. So I know they're vintage. Um, I am picking those up for myself. <laughs> uh, they're cute little ice cream bowls. Oh, they're so cute. I have a family of five, but they only had four. So I'm going to pick up all four. Again, not for resale. This is really pretty, too. It's that um, Anchor Hawking Fire King. Um, it is like a lusterware. It's $2.99. I'm going to do comps on that one. Another milk glass piece. That was really bad war. The, the words were almost all gone. Whole bunch of those Gibson mugs. Dollar ninety nine, um, Lake Superior, probably a souvenir. And there's these little serving trays that are milk glass, so they probably went with those little mugs. They're probably like little snack trays. And then there's a huge punch bowl. They probably all went together at one time. I am grabbing those. I'm so excited. <laughs> mm. That's just plastic. I was kind of curious on what they were selling it for. It was 99 cents. Sometimes I'm just curious to see what Goodwill will price their stuff at. <laughs> It's a little baseball figurine ornament, $4.99. See, I was curious. <laughs> but yellow tag, but it says electronics that are yellow tagged. So I don't know if that meant everything that has a yellow tag or only the electronics that have a yellow tag. That's one of those like little cookie tins. Those ones that look like straws. I don't know what they're called. $2.99 on that little, it's just the band. It's not the actual thing. There's a whole bunch of them. Jelly making kit, ten seventy nine. I don't know why they wouldn't have just put ten ninety nine on it. <laughs> oh, a dollar ninety nine on that little clock. It did have some damage. Um, it says made in England. You can't see the cracks on the video, but it was cracked on the back. Little porcelain doll, three ninety nine. Two ninety nine on this thing. I don't know what it is. Looks like a big folder. I've scooted out the way for other people. That's like a little weight set. It came from Ross. It was $2.99 here and then $4.99 at Ross. So, 
Save two dollars at the Goodwill. A little rooster beanie baby. Dollar ninety nine on him. I put him up so somebody could find him. And right after I put him up there, um, a lady grabbed him. And those are like little plastic toys. I was looking at the, um, the year. I can't find the year on these things. And it looks like it has a hole in the back, so I left it behind. Sometimes the baby dolls can be worth it. That's $1.99 on this bear, and it looks like it was like a collector's piece because it's in really good condition besides the tag has some wear. It says Kids of America Corp. And I can't see the year on this one either, so I'll have to be, um, I'll do some comps on it, but I'm going to let it ride in the buggy. It has a cute little pink bow. That's probably a hobbyist piece, that horse in the back. And they have $2.99 a piece on these chicken salt and pepper shakers. And they did have some jam. <laughs> they had some damage. $1.99 on that little soap or trinket dish. Excuse me. You can put your little rings on that or whatever you want to keep on it. A little turkey. I have one of those, but it's a different color. That little bear in the little box still hasn't sold yet, so I didn't pick up the other one. They wanted $4.99 on this piece. It kind of looks like a hobbyist piece to me. They'll say Japan at the bottom. Bunch of little dinosaurs. Dollar ninety-nine. My daughter brought over this glove. Um, I have one of these. One of these brands. This is three ninety-nine. I have one of these. Um, but it's brown. This one looks brand freaking new. So I did comps on it. Uh, the comps were terrible. Some of them were only five dollars, and that's three ninety-nine. So, no, thank you. That's from the Toy Story, like the original Toy Story. Um, that's a dollar ninety nine. I'll do some comps on it. I don't know if it's like a rare item that you can't find in the store anymore. I know my son. He likes two things. He likes cars and dinosaurs, <laughs> so he's not into Toy Story. That says six ninety nine on the front, and that says three ninety nine on the back. So maybe that six nine nine tag somebody put there. It's that little baby Yoda. I don't know. I've never seen the show The Mandalorian, but I know that's where it's from. It was like a little cast iron. Six nine nine on that frame. Nineteen ninety nine on a used bread maker. <laughs> I don't know. I want a bread maker, but not a used one. Unless I know who used it. I know that sounds weird, but. And I don't want to pay $19.99 for it. I'll just buy a new one. Because on, sometimes they go on sale for like 40 So you're getting a brand new one. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably a McDonald's toy. Two nine nine on that canister. There's this golf bag right here. I would not want to ship that, but you could do that on Facebook Marketplace. You could put that on there, but it's nineteen ninety nine. So I don't know if that's even worth it. If you could get anything back from that, I've never sold golf bags before. Or if you had a booth, that'd be perfect, but. Mine's solely online. 
$1.99 on that bear ornament. These look like wall pockets. $8.99 on this one. And it kind of looks like a hobbyist piece because there is no marking on the back. And that one's $8.99. That one kind of looks like a dispenser. The little spout at the bottom. Or would you call that a spigot? Or I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know what you'd call that. That's still new in box since $39.99. It looks like um, a cabinet. But it says as is. So I don't know if it was missing pieces. I saw this little penguin ornament, like paper mache. It definitely looks homemade. It's 99 cents. So now I'm going to do some comps. Um, this is the furniture section. That one, 999, it looks like somebody already bought that one because they took the bottom tag. I've never seen one of these at Goodwill. It's a vintage wash stand, $19.99, $19.99. I've never seen one in here. I've seen them at antique stores. That one says it's a magazine table, $14.99. It was really wobbly, though. And it had, like, the lamp set up for it. I'm guessing you would have, like, a basin in there. And if you watched um, Monday's video when I asked about the chicken thing, um, we did go ahead and decide to order some. So I'll be getting those in the spring and I'm so excited. I ordered 10. So it'll be an exciting new adventure <laughs> on top of everything else. But we're going to head back home and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, so now we're back home. These are the only two things that I picked up today. That's okay. I did pick up the bear. I still am not sure the year. I don't know. It is in really good condition. It was probably used on somebody's shelf. And then I did pick up the, the penguin mug. It does have the little spoon in the lid and it's all in really good condition. Looks like it's never been used. That looks like a, like just needs to be cleaned. I want to say thank you to everyone who is subscribing, everyone who is watching the videos, everyone who's leaving me comments. I really appreciate it. Um, but that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.